What's up my people? Welcome again to another edition of the Coach's Desk with host Coach Minzy. And of course, this is where you get your sporting experience. So people, we'll be, we'll be doing another video. And this video will encompass a reggae boy who plays in England. And a matter of fact, he is actually a goalkeeper. <laughs> Uh, it's interesting, you know, because persons have been saying to me, what about a goalkeeper? Because, of of course, we know what is happening with the impasse, uh, with the player negotiation with the JFF. And one of our top goalkeepers, Andre Blake, one of the best in the region, is on that strike as well. So, uh, we decided just to take a look and see if there is a goalkeeper, another goalkeeper over there. In England, who would have been eligible to play for the reggae boys? Yes, people. And guess what? We have found one. <laughs> uh, tell you, man. Uh, so let's 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 jump right into it and talk about this goalkeeper. Uh, his name is Lawrence Vigoro. Yes, and the persons might be wondering, Lawrence Vigoro. Yeah, he plays in League Two. That's where he plays his football. And the club is Leighton Orient. Yeah, man. But guess what, people? This is a tricky situation with this footballer. Yes. He, 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 he was born in England. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was born in England. Um, but guess what? He would have represented Chile as a youth international. And of course, you can see by the name Vigoro. That's V I G O U R O U X. Yes. Sounds somewhat French. All right. So, he was born in Camden, England. Mm -hmm. He's a very tall figure, six feet four inches. And he's aged 27 people. All right. So, his youth career would have take, um, taken him to Brentford. Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool, right? So the this is where his his his, his youth career started. Um, switching lanes to the senior career, um, he still would have continued in the Tottenham um, Hotspur senior team, 2013 2014. But he went out on loan to Hyde United. Then he was picked up by Liverpool, 2014 2016. Liverpool then sent him out on loan throughout that period to Swindletown and Swindletown took him uh, permanently. Then they sent him out on loan to Waterford. Then he went to Everton in 2019. Uh, didn't play any game, but then he was he was uh, bought by Leighton Orient. Played 41 games thus far for that club. So, when you look at it, the thing, people, uh, let us jump over to his international career. Um, interestingly, this player is eligible to play for England through birth, along with Chile and Jamaica through parentage. Right? So, um, prior to earning any senior, senior caps, uh, Vigoro wanted to actually play for Chile and that's where he got uh, involved in the Chilean training, training camps and he would have played for the youth team, right? Um, he, for now, he has only played for the youth team. He also dreams to play for, you, uh, for Chile one day. Um, he received his first international call-up for Chile in August 2018 for friendlies against Japan and South Korea. And of course, we know the rule that if it is just a friendly and not a competitive game, he's still eligible to play for England and Jamaica. So, from understanding, his father is from Chile and his mother is a Jamaican. So, that's how he became eligible to play for Jamaica. Alright? So, um, he, he seemed to be a, a very uh, good goalkeeper. Tottenham and Liverpool team. That's very good uh, with that is concerned. Let us look at uh, some of the strengths and weakness 
of this player. So, um, from 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 what they 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 would have graded him out of ten, you would have gotten six point seven six. And that would have been 37 appearances with one assist. Alright. Um, he played in a, uh, an FA Cup game. Alright. So look at some of Vigoro's strengths. Alright. Um, long passing. So getting a, a back pass there. Hitting one back. Um to the the forward line that's one of his strengths um he's also a shot stopping uh goalkeeper very sharp where reflexes are concerned so he's very good so when you look at a, a a snapshot he's very good in terms of reflex and he would have probably be able to reposition his himself real quick and um block another shot if a rebound um came back to it to, to the striker or whoever um he also saves close range shots very effective yes he, he he's very good when it comes on to um close range shot and there's no visible uh weakness in this player at the moment so he, he he's a very um very good goalkeeper um is he better than what we have i would say it's something to think about yes it is something to think about um andre blake amal knight Dwayne miller jadine white um no then 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 this player would be an added individual um do we really need him <laughs> If you ask me, I would say I don't think so. He, is he eligible? Yes, that's why we brought him up here. But to say that we need him, this video is not a, a, a video to say that um, we need this player. It's just a video for you to know that there's a goalkeeper out there that is actually eligible to play for the reggae boys. So that's really the basis of this video and um, he's not only eligible to play for reggae boys he has options where when you look at england chile and jamaica because of parenting and uh, to be specific his mother is a jamaican all right so interesting in people i want you to tell me your thoughts about this actual player did it even make sense in bringing up this player's name i know some persons are interested in knowing uh if there's a goalkeeper out there so yes this is one it was it worth it to bring him up because uh is he interested in playing for jamaica you understand but we know that he's eligible to play for jamaica so uh people i want you to share your thoughts below in the comment section uh just to just to just to have a little uh discussion on, on what are your thoughts on the current goalkeepers that we have versus this player Lawrence Vigoro who is eligible to play for the reggae boys who will he choose has he been approached <laughs> that's another good question has he been approached has he been sought after is Chile after him is England after him has Jamaican scout or agents made any advances? Hmm. That's a question that needs to be answered. And uh, we would love to hear this question being answered. And I'm certain that persons will come in the comment section. They will talk. Um, I, I like the, the coaches that's commented. They are very frank. They are, they, are, they are critical. And the criticism can also be negative or positive. But... I mean, this is where opinion is 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 accepted because it's also opinionated um, show. We 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 like the comments and we definitely look into some of the stuff that you say. So people, um, definitely, let's look on this player.
Let's comment. Tell us what you think. What are your thoughts? Thanks again for tuning in to the Coach's Desk. You have been good and I really appreciate it. Thanks again, people. Peace out.